Hey guys, Joshua Gondamo here with another offshoot in action review. This is uh, not Gundam, this is from Code Geass, and it's a Nightmare Frame Lancelot. Uh, Code Geass seems to have had the most offshoot figures out of any series, as far as I can tell. Um, though they are very rare and hard to find, and their construction is a bit more like the robot spirits than it is the MSA in some respects. There's a lot more hard plastic involved in them, and the joints tend to be riveted, riveted rather than the, the simple snap kind of joint system that we're used to on the MSA, like, uh, like so. This is a GUF version 1 MSA, Japanese. See, this thing is huge. It's, it's absolutely huge, even compared to the extended GUF. It's a very large robot. And very, very cool. I don't know a lot about Code Geass. I haven't gotten to see more than a few episodes. But I will do my best to review the figure. First off, he comes with a ton of hands. There's a total of ten hands. All kinds of different sizes and things. It has an alternate shield. He seems to have this, this whip-type weapon. That comes out of the shield. I gotta say, that is really cool. I'm not sure if it electrifies like the Goof's whip. Or what? He also has these cool swords. They have a nice red blade. They're kind of shiny. There's two of them. They pretend fit in his backpack. As you can see. That's not a real sword. Something to note about Kogios is that it has these wheel systems. I don't know if the, the foot is supposed to have wheels in it and these help propel it or what. Kind of reminds me of uh, just blue gender a little bit. I guess these guys should be able to like. And you know, when you have a sword in your hand and you're moving at 180 miles an hour, you're going to kill a lot of stuff. It comes with this cool rifle, which also changes to become this rifle, which I think is the same. It just, you know, becomes super powerful or something like that. The hands are on ball joints, these fold up, foot's on the ball joint, double jointed knee, crazy articulation in the legs, it's got these things, I'm not really sure what they are. These swords come off a little bit, that's not a bad thing. Unlike the rest of the Kogios figures that I have, I'm not sure about all of them, um, that were ever made, but the backpack does not open up and show off a cockpit. It's got a crazy cool head, reminds me of uh, Evangelion. Unit 1, quite a bit. Shoulders are double ball jointed. No, just one ball joint. Mostly a harder plastic is what he's constructed out of. Double jointed arms as well. Crazy, awesome articulation. Ooh, and these open. I'm not really sure for what purpose, but they do. And they close, and that's about it. Well, I'm about out of battery, so make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe as I post a new video nearly every day. And check out our eBay store where we sell all kinds of cool toys. And uh, I'll be selling this figure there eventually, or trading him as well. So, see you guys tomorrow.